YouTubers, I want to make you guys a video of some old old stereo equipment. Now of course, not all this stuff is old. Some of it's new, some of it's old. I want to talk to you how to integrate your iPod Touch or your iPhone or your iPad onto your old old stereo system like I have here. Now, of course, this is like a home feel system, but it's not. It's actually just the, uh, the Shiba stereo receiver, and it's AS320. That's the model number on this uh, old on this old beast. Now, the reason why I call it an old beast because it's kind of like the 1970s. Now, taking newer technology like this, like the iPod. And integrating it into your stereo without you're gonna have to buy a brand new stereo system. Now that's totally up to you guys. If you wanna spend a little bit of money on extra stuff, that's up to you guys. Now of course I can't play music for you. I have done it on I have done it on one of my old channels. On well, not my old channel, but uh old year ago, date ago. But I want to turn the camera around and show you my lovely old stereo equipment. Now, of course, you guys have seen this many times before. You have seen it in some of my unboxing videos and blog videos. You can see this is my stereo equipment. Now, of course, I can show you a non-angle if you prefer me to. I can Tie it back up now. Of course, it's kind of hard to get the whole stereo in one video for you. But let's go into the iPad. First, I need to pop off the bottom. Oops, bottom. Will connect. I mean, I have to kind of move my eye dot kind of this way so I can get the iPod oops, to dock. This is normally where I charge my iPod on my dock. Now, of course. It does work. Now, of course, that's my PSP and the black thing you see, that other default thing. Of course, I want to go by what I have again. Uh, my record plow, CD plow. This is the receiver, the Shiba Stereo receiver, SA320 receiver. The iPod itself, the iDock, the microphone, my switch box. DVD player, tape player, PSP, and amp amplifier, photo amplifier, and of course, A and B speakers, and also some different antennas as well. And here's that bottom I took off. See, I can use this was the antenna mod I made last video. So I can take this antenna off and decide to put this antenna on the stereo. If I prefer to do that, there's a shortened antenna. And if I want to do the antenna with the long antenna. Now, of course, I don't have the rights to play music. I wish I did. That's the antenna mod I made. Now let's get back on to Stereo integration. This is iPod integration with the older stereo receiver. Now, of course, the slide unlock. Of course, I'm not showing you guys the bass, right? And I'm gonna sign out of my channel here and click the back button. So you guys can actually see the 
what I'm doing. I go to my YouTube, go to my YouTube channel, and I can turn on the B speakers and I will turn this down. All the way down. Not all the way down. I want to show you on how it works. Video can't be connected. Alright, hold on. You know I had to work before. Sometimes I had to click this button, close YouTube out, click it again for it to pop up. Now, of course, I'm trying to play you guys one of my videos. Course it's going to go tell you guys. I'm going to talk to you about some antenna mods I've been doing on a couple weeks See? ago. But I there you had go. some issues with starting with my email account. Of course, you don't need to know that. But I will probably be doing a known update on the antenna mod. Now, of course, the reason why I decided to do this modification and also the, uh, um, it's not called a modification, it's called integration with the iPod to the older equipment you can see here we have. And none of this stuff is new, some of it's new. The iPod is brand, the iPod's new, the iDocs new from 2007. This is new, that's new, most of this stuff is old items. Like I said, this is a 1970 model here. Works really good. I mean, I wish I can play you guys some music, but of course I can't. <clears throat> I just had to blog about it and talk about it without sound on it because of Some issues, but how did I, if you guys are wondering, how did I integrate the iPod, the iDock, into a older style stereo system? Now on the back of my iDock system, you'll see two wires. This is my video wire. This is my audio aisle. That helps me to listen to my i my iPod or my videos from one cable. The audio will be this cable. It's a standard um, third party audio cable across Apple's um, three pin dock connection plugs right in the back. Now this cable does both. It does charge the iPod dock or charges the iPod when it sits on the iDock. Now, when I decide to listen to music or listen to mostly any of the music, I normally 10 times listen to my iPod instead of my record or my CD or my DVD player. Now how do I mostly control all this equipment I got? Now of course I will tell you one thing. This stereo receiver of course does not have a lot of connections. That's why I have to use this switch box. Whatever you want to call this thing. I call it a switch box because it just has these different switch knobs and how to switch back and forth to different items. And I'll tell you, uh, iPod is on VCR 2, CD player I think is this one, and max input is this one with TV and CD, it must be one of those. And the iPod and the, um, that one you see though is just connected directly to 
the ACO itself. Now this is a update video of some of the stuff I have done. Sorry, guys. Stuff what I have done with my stereo so far. Now, of course, this can be quite expensive on making your getting all the parts and pieces of your stereo and uh, your home video system ready to go. Now, of course, this is not a, a sound around uh, system because I don't need a sound around uh, uh, receivable. These speakers play excellent, very good. Pioneer speakers do very good. Now, I do like listening to my radio, my stereo. Of course, the radio is kind of you know, kind of crappy because of the antenna issues I have with it. Now, of course, this does not have a antenna tunnel. Of course, I had to get a outside antenna. But this one is a really good system for anybody who wants to buy or build single. Go for it, guys. I would recommend you get the all the single items like this. I have a photo single instead of the on one because if one device fails, like say one of these, one of these, one of these, uh, you can replace them. Now I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys one thing. This device here has some issues. This switch is bad. This switch is bad. Some of these switches also need uh, fix as well. This machine is the halt of all of the equipment you see here. Not just the iPod, not just all that. That's the halt of my system to connect to the tele. The tele connects to here. Okay. And also uh, my speakers. You see, I'm pointing at. Uh, why don't I have the covers on them? Because I don't. Because I actually like them this way. They look nice. Well, they, they also look nice with the covers on them, but I took the covers off. But, this is us talking about some of the features and the integrates I have done my to my system to get all up and running the right way. No, serious. I was, all these pieces are single. So I can lift this up, I can lift this up, I can lift this up, I can lift all these up because they're all single items, guys. They're not all in one. And you say, why don't you get all in one units? Like, guys, I don't like all in one units because when you have all in one units, you decide to break. And trust me, I had a, I had a video of it on my channel. Look it up. You'll find out I don't have these singles. That's that one. That was mine. Messy stuff over there, guys. Yeah, <laughs> the messy stuff. A TV connected to hell. Now, why can I? Why can I play you guys? Ooh. Why can I play you guys any music? One because I don't have the rights to any of the music I have on the radio, on the CDs, or also even on the iPod. I have the rights to play. On a movie, my video to you, from my iPod to you guys. You now why? Because I'm the one that holds that content. I'm the one that produces this content for you guys to figure out how to do a beautiful system like this. There we go. Now, of course, this is an update video. Now I know you have seen this uh, many times, guys, and I am. I am sorry, I kind of am running out of ideas for videos to make and blog for you guys. Now I have not made new videos, of course I have made new videos. Now okay, let's get back to blogging this old beast. Now, what is the difference of all these single items? Why go with all single versus all in one? Now I could go with odd one, 
if I prefer to use a all-in-one system. But when you got a all-in-one item, it tends times to break. Now, of course, I have took stuff in and out of this uh, stereo cabinet so many times. That's why she's kind of mocked up and badly damaged. I'm going to have to get a new one eventually. Now, this is bearing a lot of weight. This cabinet, I got this one. This cabinet is like quarter inch thick wood. It's not that it's not that thin plywood. It's not that thin like my desk is over here. It's not that it's not that thin stuff. I mean, it's just very uh, expensive. I pay uh, paid a lot for this cabinet, and it's got some dings and locks in it, but I can't help that. Uh, I bet you guys are gonna tend to want it's like why it's like why are you, Chris? How are you decided to get it all in one? I have one. All in one television. I don't like it. I don't like all in one items. Now, of course, I'm gonna let you guys go. This is a update video. I'm probably be doing some more updates in the future with this uh, system later on, and maybe to upgrade some of the items I got. Now, all right, if you guys like this video? Please sum it up. And uh, so you're not subscribed, subscribe, and you can also leave comments below. I try my best for you guys. I am not a good blogger, but I'm, I'm trying. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Peace. Bye guys.